let's sit back in our favorite beach chairs, you know, spritz some sun in, in and break out the baby oil and make sure our cold snack koozies are age appropriate. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Richie. Yeah. Right yeah. on. Summertime. I like it, brother. So, Dusty, what happens if you miss a podcast? What's the rule? Uh, you get roasted. Okay, Ryan. Here we go, buddy. <laughs> oh, Ryan, you are in trouble, brother. Yikes. <laughs> so you go first, Jim, or you want me to go first? Well, I think he took the night off to go hiking to find a mountain lion he wanted to fight or something. Some <laughs> yeah. that I balled him before, and now he's ready to do it. Wow. <laughs> he's tough. <laughs> I thought he said they were going hiking up some mountain. Then my first thought was, if I spent two weeks on an island with my whole family, I'd probably want to go find the highest point and jump off of it as well. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Guys, I can't wait to hang out with each other in a couple of weeks. I'm pretty stoked uh, on that. Uh, going to be so. Uh, fun. How excited are you? I mean, what's what's up? What's what are you looking forward to, Jimmy? Oh, oh man, I won't be there. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not going to be at this one. But I'm you guys you, continue. I'm giving you a hard time, oh, bastard. Uh, I Tony, I made you... it. That's for Ryan. You got to save the rose for Ryan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wrong guy. Tony, uh, are, how about you? Are you ready to, to, Dude, to hit it? To so I, I went, I j- actually, just before we got on the podcast, I literally pulled up in the driveway, pulled the suitcase out of the car, ran up here and jumped into the studio to get on with you boys. So I was down there uh, for the last three days, scouting out locations, putting down uh, all of our deposits at the various restaurants and uh golf course you know uh so that we could have a good time Uh, and of course um as usual i couldn't help myself but to uh do like a pre pre pre-party a pre-indulging party you know without you guys just kind of getting things going there kind of you know oiling up the gears and the wheel getting ready for the big weekend and you know i was one of those kids growing up that you remember when your parents would say hey it's time to go get out of the pool and you're out of friend's house or I would duck under the water and pretend like I didn't hear him and just like swim away and then I'd get up and go I didn't hear you and I'd like duck down and then run and you know my parents would be upset with me because those of you who know me know that I'm the kind of guy that things when things are fun I want them to be more fun and I never I I, I still to this day haven't learned that okay just take it for what it is man it's fun we had a good time we you know Everything was good, but I always have to have a little bit more fun. And that always uh, ends up teetering the scales to borderline disaster. So any of you guys that were with me in Phoenix when when we uh, we all met at the uh, top of the rock, uh, one of those perfect examples, I uh, just had to have, we were having fun. I had to have more fun. And so <laughs> not to hog up all the time, but when I was at the Avi, uh, to make a really long story short, we got a cabana because I thought oh, it would be fun for us to rent a cabana and then have a little palapa or a beach set up so we could all you know go back and forth between the, the pool and do the water slide and sit in the cabana and then go down. There's like cocktail waitresses that bring you these bucket services. And I think I was drinking uh, some Corona premieres and she brought me a little thing of limes and a little salted glass and then. When that was having like, some uh, like two or three, right? Buckets, yeah, <laughs> buckets, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so to get to the story, what started out as two or three buckets ended up being me. Have you guys ever seen those little Jello shots? Yeah. So oh, yes. they sell yeah. them at these resorts, and somebody made the mistake of buying me one. You know, they're like, "Oh, you look like you're having a good time here. Take one of these," and I took one, and then I'm like, "You know me, I." Okay, everybody here, the whole pool, everybody at the whole, at the whole area. I want jello shots for everybody. So I had all the cocktail waitresses carrying these like huge platforms. And dude, people, let me just put it this way. People, people that I care about, uh, people that I didn't know were falling down, stumbling, (laughs) 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 literally like dropping. And I ended up having to drive a family member home and uh that was uh that was fun it's just a little pregame dude yeah a little a little, a little pregame 
<laughs> I think I gave one of you a call last night too, right? <laughs> Was it you, Dusty? I, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Dusty's, ple- Dusty's pleading the fifth. You know how when you get when, when you're when you when you're getting your groove on, you feel like oh, I need to call one of my buddies and let them know. 